George Sawtooth here. Went up to the Fort St. Green historical marker just right over here. Came upon this, look at this abandoned house. No trespassing. It says, how old do you think this house is? Oh, there's deer poop there. See that deer poop? Deers can't read. If they can't read, they said there's no trespassing. What the heck's wrong with the deer? Look at this. Wow. Look at that roof collapsed up there, collapsed up there onto the floor. Ceiling fan. Had carpet. Not a big fan of carpet myself. Look, there's a big heater there right in the middle of the room. I guess that's how they used to heat a house. They didn't have a furnace. Just had a big heater. Isn't that cool? I mean, the windows. Look at the windows back in those days. They were... Had a upstairs or if that's an attic. Always kind of like to do. Look at here's a clothesline here. I grew up on a farm. My mom always used the clotheslines to dry her clothes. She also had a dryer too, but she liked to dry clothes out in the out on the outside let the the sun and the the wind dry the clothes i wonder how old this house is it has a cedar roof probably the original roof is my guess the cedar cedar lasts a long time cedar is a wood that just doesn't seem to ever rot. <laughs> yeah, so there was kind of an upstairs. Look at these stairs have since collapsed, but can go upstairs. It's just a little tiny house, isn't it? I wonder who lived here. I wonder if the, any relatives are still still around who grew up in this house to me this looks like an ash tree a green ash tree a lot of Coloradoans uh, plant green ash trees because they do pretty well in Colorado Here's the back of the house here. I wonder when this was, somebody even lived here. There's some bullet holes. People have been firing bullets into this house. Let's take a look at oh look at the chimney up there it's kind of collapsed it's made of brick see the chimney up there it's collapsed uh, I love these old abandoned houses I just think of the people that used to live here where are they now I mean a lot of them are dead but maybe the kids or grandkids are still alive Or if they ever come back and say, man, I grew up in this house. Look at that. Somebody has been kicking in that wall there. Solid wood doors, though. Man, I tell you, they don't put solid doors in. Wood doors in anymore. Look 
Look at all the wasp nests up there. Man, the wasps, they love this house for protection. Yeah, it's wood. For a while there, I thought it was vinyl, but that's definitely wood siding. Sure, that paint has lead in it. All right, just wanted to check out an old abandoned house. Every time I see that old bit, I try to take a look at it. Anyway, this is the road to Fort St. Green historical marker. It's actually kind of hard to find because it's, it's hidden over there. beautiful day I tell you lately Colorado has been has the weather has turned into New Mexico it seems like to me I don't remember growing up Colorado being like this in November I'm I, here I am in short sleeve shirt see wildcat mound right there really cool it's a very prominent point that you can see from Platteville and Highway 85 as you're driving north or south. The airplane up there making noise. I don't hear any blue jays squawking like they do in usually in my videos. Alright guys, happy Thanksgiving. God bless.